today. I got a message from a follower on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me already, Savan underscore Virgo, feel free to DM, ask questions. So her question was, following a low fat raw vegan diet, how do you make things taste good without putting too much fat in it? Great question. I asked the same question on my journey. So before we get to the raw vegan diet, how do you make things taste good on any other diet? You use herbs, spices, sauces, dips, and other condiments, right? Same thing on a raw vegan diet, you just make sure they're raw or you make them yourself at home. Mind you, in the beginning of my journey, I was completely against uh, spices and all that, and you can completely live without them. In fact, I lived for three years without any spices, and the reason for that is that as I got into raw foods, I, I also learned about natural hygiene and I learned about the spices and other condiments that are not necessarily optimal um, ideal for our system. Some of them irritate the digestive system, uh, some of them increase the development of mucus and so forth. So there is the raw vegan diet and then there's the natural hygiene which is which I feel like it's one step forward to taking your diet to the next level. There's a lot of logic in the natural hygiene, it makes a lot of sense and I follow a lot of the principles. I know that nature knows best what's good for us and what's not. And it helped me a lot in developing the mindset of uh, thinking the way nature intended for us. But I feel like there are some holes in the, in the natural hygiene that are not that, um, I guess, relevant in our world today. And over the years, I decided to take the information I have in my hands and create something of my own that I, I'm the that really improved the quality of my life and made my journey healthy and fun. There are always better choices you can make and you need to listen to your body's intuitive signals. The goal is to always improve the diet and eat as much whole, fresh, clean foods as possible. If you need to add a pinch of some spice or a little sauce you make in order to eat the salad, then it's better than if you didn't eat the salad at all. If it's helping you eat more leafy greens in your diet, then it's better than if you didn't eat them at all. The raw vegan diet is going to improve your quality of life for sure. And if you need to add, to add um, a little bit of spices here and there to make it more sustainable and fun, that's better than you know going back to eating processed foods. If you want, you can classify it into something like never okay, better and best. And that's how you build yourself something that is more sustainable. So for me, if we divide it into the categories, the best will be herbs. They can be eaten more as a vegetable, like dill, cilantro, uh, parsley, green onion, mint, basil, chives, rosemary. And then in the better category, there will be uh, semi-spicy. So these are plants with special flavor, like turmeric, cumin, uh, hyssop, cinnamon. And in the okay category, these are the things that are more spicy, uh, like hot peppers, chili powder, um, cayenne peppers. And then in the never category, there'll be all the things that I wouldn't even touch. So for me, it's oils, uh, preservatives, processed foods, and so forth. So after we cover that, here are a few more tips for what you can do to make your meals more interesting, tasty, and colorful. Start by creating your own dressings, dips. New sauces, new dips can completely change your meal. Either um, you know, sweet or salty or whatever taste you want it to have. It can be the simplest thing, thing like blending a mango in the blender and pouring it on top of the salad or you can start making different mixes together, foods with herbs uh, or semi-spicy condiments and come up with recipes you can easily incorporate in your diet. I'll share with you some of my recipes in the next video. Another thing is adding crunchy toppings. If you, want, if you want to be even more creative, I know it's a lot uh, of fun to enjoy different textures and it's fun to experiment with different toppings you can put on your salad or some dinner you create for yourself. So for example, you can create raw vegan croutons or uh, you know, in the dehydrator or use a dehydrated vegetables. What you can also do is keep your fat portion in the day um, to the time during the day or the meal that you have the hardest time. Um, that's what I usually do and then you can add the nuts or, or seeds or even an avocado to this specific meal. Personally, I found that 
I don't need a lot of fat to enjoy a meal, but adding some nut or you know sesame seeds or um, sunflower seeds, those those kind of things can have the same crunchy effects and make it more fun to eat. And the last tip: change the vegetables and greens you use in your meals. I know it sounds simple, but a little bit more diversity can really add a lot to your meals and even help you come up with tasty combinations you might like together. Hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you in the next one with some new recipes, so click the subscribe button to get updates when I upload a new video. Take care!